Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. How are you, sir? Fine, ma'am. <laughs> A warm welcome on the behalf you, of our college and the Department yeah. of English. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah, please, sir. I request uh, Dr. Sachin Bandare, sir, to proceed with the program. Yes, yes, sure, madam. हाँ सो अगर ज्वाइन जाना क्या सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ राजर्षी शाह महाविद्यालय लातूर एंड ऑन माई ओन बिहाफ आई वेलकम ऑनरेबल चीफ गेस्ट ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर थ्री ऑफ नोइंग अ बुक लेक्चर सीरीज सो ऑनरेबल धनप्पा मेत्री सर I will speak on uh, the mill on the floss uh, by George Eliot. Uh, I am here to give certain preliminaries for the session. Uh, dear sir, uh, Rajarshi Shahu Mahavidyalay Latur is celebrating its uh, golden jubilee in the year 2020, and to celebrate this golden jubilee year. Uh, we have decided to organize various uh, co-curricular extracurricular uh, and academic activities and as a part of that academic activities department of english has taken an initiative to start knowing a book uh, lecture series to celebrate the golden jubilee year of our esteemed institute uh, so uh, for this uh, lecture series honorable principal of our college dr mahadev gavane sir has given us an inspiration he has given an an idea that you should start such academic pursuit uh, so that the students will be well acquainted with the literary texts uh, from their uh, regular academic life and for that purpose we have decided to start knowing a book lecture series of course as a part of uh, english language and literature the students of ug and pg programs uh, study the literary text but Uh, during uh, the very limited uh, period of their academic careers they are not acquainted with the uh, uh, most of the literary texts which are world famous without which literature or what we can say the definition of literature cannot be complete so in order to acquaint the students with the renowned literary texts uh, we have decided to uh, organize uh, this lecture series and uh, in every month we try to uh, organize a, a lecture on one of the literary texts uh, by the renowned author uh, honorable head of the english department dr anuja jadhav madam is always there to support us to conduct such type of activities so uh, with the inspiration of the principal and with the kind support of uh, the head of the department uh, we have organized so far uh, two lectures now this is the third lecture which we are going to enjoy very soon so with these preliminaries uh, uh, now i uh, hand over the charge to uh, swagat rokde for further proceedings swagat please thank you sir a very good morning a very good afternoon to one and all today on behalf of rajesh shah mahavidyalay and department of english we we are going to have a program of knowing a book knowing a book this is the third lecture on george eliot's the mill on floss lecture so uh, preliminaries were handled by mr sachin bhandari sir thank you for it and for uh, our introduction of our highly intellectual guest i would like to call miss sheik samrin for introduction of our guest sheik samrin please हेलो स्वागत समरीन सहाय सम टेक्निकल प्रॉब्लम्स 
uh, please you go okay, with the uh, the uh, schedule uh, you go with the introduction of the guest okay sir do you have the intro uh hello uh, so for today's uh, le lecture i would like to call mr dhanappa m metri sagmeshwar <laughs> college solapur vice principal uh, sir uh, sir have been teaching in uh, sagmeshwar college as a uh, vice principal so i would like to call uh, so without uh, so now without wasting much time i would like to uh, call our to our today's guest mr uh dhanappa yam metri sir please sir yes sir hello uh, swagat yes, there sir. is a little bit change in the program okay sir uh, uh, sir dhanappa sir uh, our uh, proposal of uh, capacity building program is going on so our vice principal uh, dr aj raju the president of today's uh, program he will have first presidential address and then okay. we will uh, proceed for our guest lecture yes. so Uh, now i uh, request honorable president of today's program dr aj raju sir for presidential address thank you bandare sir can you hear me yes sir yes yes sure sir you are audible okay thank you sir so at the outset i welcome all the participants as well as the resource person to today's uh, book series like uh, lecture on mill on the blows sir it is a pleasure and a privilege for me to be with uh, the resource person sri dhanappa m metri sir vice principal of sangameshwar college solapur and uh, hod of the english department dr anuja jadhav madam and dr bhandare sir the organizer of the lecture series as well as the resource person other staff members and uh, my dear students see this is a guest lecture based on book series that is mill on the blows by the english novelist popularly known as the george eliot without going into the details of the literary work of george eliot what i would like to share with you is that knowing a book has many advantages this is because learning from the book we will be able to know the cultural background of the writer the story as well as the period in which uh, the characters uh, live so from analyzing a book through the export we we'll give uh, us an insight into the characters and uh, the time in which they lived as well as how the story has evolved in that era similarly we also heard that our friends may leave us our relatives may leave us but friendship with books will definitely be a great advantage because they will never leave us so as a student of literature one should have to develop a love for reading books especially from classics because classics are supposed to live forever or its literary values will continue generation to generation because irrespective of the period in which uh, they have written it has lifelong value because the literary contribution of the great writers will inspire us will give us 
the ability to think beyond the present times so as a student of literature one should develop the habit of uh, reading books especially quality books where not only our own lang from our own languages but also from other foreign authors this is because literature has no boundaries even though languages have certain limitations but in order to develop the habit of reading books from classics one will be able to understand the cultural background the period how the characters are formed and what were the personal experience of the authors so all these factors will help us to understand better as a student of literature analyzing the books and uh, the authors background so about mary and evans known by her pen name george eliot was one of the leading writers of the victorian era the novels written by her include adam bede the mill on the floss silas marner romola felix romola felix holt the radical the middle march and daniel deronda so the mill on the floss contains many of her biographical events many of her personal lives were influenced in writing the mill on the floss so it is the story of the siblings tom and maggie to liver who grew up at dorklot mill on the river floss so as in that time female novelists were generally uh, seen as only romantic others so while going through the little bit of uh, the background of the author i found that mary ann wanted to be taken seriously as a writer because in victorian era female authors were considered only as romantic authors so serious literature areas were out of considered as female writers so in order to avoid that discrimination that discrimination she has chosen a name called uh, a male name george eliot so her pen name is penned as that like so the cultural background and all those limitations in order to avoid those discrimination she had taken that particular pen name so going through the literature what we could have found out is that the twist and uh, other aspects of the stories so i think the resource person will definitely give us an insight into the story how the characters have developed and uh, ultimately what contribution george eliot has made to the world of literature so <clears throat> i think today's sessions will definitely enrich our knowledge about uh, the author and her literary contribution to the english literature so without taking much time i thank the organizers for providing an opportunity to preside over this particular guest series and i will definitely listen what the resource person would share with us because i am i am a student of social science so definitely it will be a rich experience for me to again become a student like uh, environment in which i will sit and listen the resource person sri dhanappa m medre sir sir i welcome you to this particular series on behalf of the institution and thank you thank you very much thank thank you very much sir for your presentation at this project now invite samri okay sir uh, thank you very much sir for your presidential address now now i would like to call uh, ms chek samrin for uh, giving the pres uh, giving the introduction of our uh, highly intellectual guest please chek samrin good afternoon everyone today on the guest lecture arranged by our english department 
it's my proud privilege to introduce to you all our today's chief guest vice principal of sangameshwar college dhanappa metri sir at present he is working as the vice principal and hod of english at sangameshwar college solapur he has 30 years of experience of teaching english at sangameshwar college solapur teaching ug and pg classes he has experience in guiding the aspirants for different competitive examinations he is the member of iqac and college development committee he has attended 60 conventions from state to international actively participated and presented papers and regularly participates in the webinars organized by iitfl uk on various aspects of english language teaching he has been chaired one international and two sessions of the national seminars worked as rapper I worked as rapporteur of the session of state level seminar he is a resource person to seminars on quality edu- education and teaching of english language and literature he has also delivered speeches on education and different topics he has a professional membership in international association of teachers of english as foreign language uk english language teachers association of india English Language Teachers Association of India Literature Sikh and Solapur University English Teachers Association and Rotary Club Solapur He has published 30 papers in university news journal published by AIU on quality education and six articles in Eltai journal on teaching English language and literature His two articles on teaching English are published in magazine Voices published by international association of teachers of english as a foreign language from uk his first short story namely life changing sms is published in international journal of english literature language and skills his funny anecdotes are published in readers digest the leading magazine in english he has authored a chapter a chapter in book entitled issues and challenges in indian higher education published by wordsworth and wordsworth New Delhi in 2012 he has worked on UGC sponsored minor research project on scientific english seven students won prizes for research projects qualifying for state level research festival avishkar under his guidance he has awarded with ida national teaching award 2016 by india didactics association He has won international scholarship by Regional English Language Office under American Embassy, New Delhi, in 2014. He has also awarded with the Best Research Paper Presenter Award at the National Seminar 2011 and Professional Excellence Award for of Rotary Club Solapur in 2009. We welcome you here, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Samreen, for your uh, introduction for our guest. Uh, so, without wasting much for the time i would like to uh, call our today's guest mr uh, dhanappa metri sir uh, to guide us on uh, to guide us on on today's topic please mr dhanappa metri sir thank you welcome sir welcome please thank you very much organizers i am grateful to the institution which found me suitable for your need of book series i have acquaintance with your institution to my institution several times we have visited we have been benefited by your institution we are sailing in the same boat rather i can say we have the feelings of anger brother and we get guidance from your principal then earlier masundar sir and even anuja madam she is my sisterly figure we together were part of some workshops in infosys i am proud of the her father who is part and parcel of indian higher education in addition to this i congratulate the institution for and the department for undertaking such a nice activity which i have rarely heard it is book series lectures 
I am the lecture series of introducing the books. I learned many things from you. It is worth emulating, worth following. I congratulate the department. I congratulate the institution at its anniversary, 50th Golden Jubilee that you said. I wish on this platform, many people will come. They will share whatever they have read to acquaint the learners with quality English literature, creative English literature, so that you will be benefited. You will be enlightened through these writers. Friends, when I was invited, I thought over it, what book should I select? So I, I fumbled. In the beginning, I wanted to have some other book, but I zeroed on my favorite book, The Mill on the Floss. There are some reasons behind selecting this text. This is about the youth, and I am going to address the youth. This book is a motivating book for the youth. So I thought this will be better book to share with. This is a book I have often quoted to my students because I read in my studenthood. It has its direct impact upon my personality because of its language, because of its subject, because of its classical nature. So I decided to go for this book. I wish I shall try to justify to this platform. It will be a success on my side if my discussion makes you people to take the book from the library, read it. If it is not available, it is my success if the students demand the department to have the book in the library. I wish the book is there in the library. Then secondly, those who want to read it, it is freely available on the internet. In addition to that, it has been converted into a film that is also freely available on the net. So my, my, my deliberation should motivate you people to read that book. I will be highly obliged. I will be highly happy if any one of you studies other books, sir, introduced, because reading of the book should not stop with one book. You should have been aroused with an interest to read other books also by the same author. So anyhow, it was my uh, aim to share with this book with you people. Let me see. Uh, the presentation will be in the form of uh, some introductory part. Then I shall go to the summary of the text. Then I shall go to the philosophical element of the text. Then this text is very, uh, what I can say, sensitive uh, to the youth especially. It has the background of Charles Darwin's theory, fittest that serves. Friends, all of you are young people. You should be having this confidence of survival. We are going through number of uncertainties. Life is becoming very volatile. The problems like COVID are coming up. You people should be prepared for such things. That creation of your mindset to face such problems is possible through literature. And this book, initially called a psychological book, will be a psychological booster to you young people who will definitely undertake this book. Those who are already the readers, they may not find it difficult. But for the beginners, you can see those days, bulky books were written. It is bulky, but I, I said with you people, I read this book when I was in MA. So you too uh, should try to read this book. Friends, we are the students of higher education. 
in higher education some people go for science they want to know life only they want to know nature some want to know the sky the avian some want to know geography of the earth but the students of literature the people who want to read books the people who want to read literature they want to understand life and culture so by reading this the very objective of education should be fulfilled we are learning because we are reading because we are part of the formal education because we want to be sensitized youth should be sensitive youth should be creative youth should be critical thinkers that is called education which makes you people independent thinkers as a result you will be in a position to solve your own problems in this novel the young boy like you people comes across life find death situation in this situation also the boy faces the challenge and brings back to the reputation of the family that is why i have selected this book every young boy and girl listening to me your ultimate aim should be happiness in the eyes of your parents we owe a lot that is why this is a model text this is useful text for you people to lose the innocence we people behave innocently a stage is supposed to come in the life of the person where you become are allowed to say again let us usko maar do abhi रिसोर्स पर्सन म्यूट का यस yes, सर भंडारी सर आई थिंक रिसोर्स पर्सन हैज बीन म्यूटेड कैम आई ऑडिबल यस सर यस सर प्लीज प्लीज कंटिन्यू यस यस सर श्योर सो बिकॉज ऑफ यूर बिकॉज ऑफ यूर रीडिंग you should be educated educated in real sense it should build your character please try to understand me i can say literature is interdisciplinary there may be a doctor there may be an engineer but he is supposed to be a wise person there is a difference between intelligence and wisdom a doctor may be intelligent doctor uh, an engineer may be an intelligent person but he should be a wise person too and literature teaches you people how to be wise that is why there is need for wise people in the society we are a lot of intelligent people but we are badly in need of the people who are wise who can create happy atmosphere who can make this world worth living and that is possible through literature study only so friends the mill on the floss the title is based on the mill and the river floss it is not a real river writers usually have their imaginary landscape so it is imaginary mill and imaginary river floss on the bank of the river floss 
there is a mill it is it is run with the waters of the river floss you must be knowing earlier days water course was used to run the machines before the steam engines the flow of the river was diverted as a resulted as a result the turbines moved the mill worked totally water were the source of energy the owner of the mill is mr taliwar his wife is mr taliwar this happy family has two siblings one son another daughter son is mischievous as usually boys are like that girl is intelligent naturally sober intelligent girls so these two are their apple of eyes father is mr thalivar is a confident man he is the owner of the mill but recently he is running in debts loans however he is very ambitious to teach his son to be a great person he doesn't want him to be a miller once again so he thinks his son to be attached to an academy his wife is happy go lucky woman whenever there is any crucial decision she wants her sisters should be consulted so the sisters are called they try to admonish him tell him already you are in learning lo loans why should you spend money on your son's education this hurts the head of the family he is very unhappy he is very upset already the problem was running there was a farmer had a lawsuit court matter he wanted to divert the course of the water the flow of the water the, the the course of the water diverted was going to affect the functioning of the mill so the court matter was going on and there was a lawyer named okay uh, there there was a lawyer named vekam see the name the writers give very interesting names vekam is very close to wicked is a wicked wicked fellow court matter starts mr tulliver admits his son in a school before he admitted his son as i already mentioned he was in need of money but he was insulted by his relatives he decides to go to his sister to whom he had lent some money but his sister had number of kids they were very poor but mr taliwar was no who in no mood today he went to his sister he did not light from the horse he warned his sister he wanted his money back helpless sister she openly tells her brother if you insist on returning the money we have been left with no option but to sell ourselves that is why mr taliwar becomes emotional he becomes sympathetic he decides not to ask for money he returns home his son is admitted in the school only one student in the academy but the boy finds nothing interesting in the school he is a a person involving in the nature everyone cannot be made to learn everyone doesn't cannot be 
taught in one way students do not attend the classes because their way of learning are different and the education system forces them to learn with one system only that is why the boy tom finds it very difficult to adjust with the school he behaves in a very strange manner his sister maggie visits the academy she is with her brother she is a very different type of girl very attractive voice but black in complexion her mother is always worried so she always objects to the daughter and the son going by the river bank and she says he complains all the time one day you will tumble into the river and die okay she says you will die one day in the river anyhow this sister goes to her brother to see him in the school she goes to the school second time by this time there is a new student in the academy he is philip he is philip welcomes the son i think you are with me wickham was a lawyer in which he, he was a part of the litigation and he was fighting on the on the opposite side of the client tullivers opponent wickham son was a deformed boy physically he was completely deformed a uh, uh, bent neck but he was very much impressed by maggie's intelligence maggie's way of reading the books he falls in love of this girl and maggie too has attraction for philip maggie returns home friends unwanted thing happens mr deliver loses the court suit from here the story catches it becomes serious now court matter lost by mr taliwar already in debts son is admitted in the school daughter is a, he loves the daughter very much but now the condition becomes grim this makes him have a mental shock he develops a type of paralysis and he is bedridden entire family is in no way to take any decision then the court matter continues the dorl court mill is auctioned sold and it is bought by bought by the lawyer himself you can see the way people uh, were going to sit afterwards how man behaves he always was enemy of mr taliwar he makes mr taliwar a manager of the same property you can imagine what may be the condition of a man when he is a servant on his own farm on his own property he is bedridden maggie once again goes to the academy and tells her brother what has happened tom is very interestingly described this is a literary language how can we say the boy was 19 year old we can say the boy had crossed his adolescence it is one way of telling the boy was getting responsible another way of telling 
the boy was losing his innocence is another way of telling but george eliot very interestingly says friends if you read the book you will come to know that tom had used the blade for the first time you can imagine rest of the things this is the beauty of literature what he says tom had used the razor for the first time all of you are young this is this is experience by you people some one or another time so he returns home surprised to see property acquired by somebody father has become a servant on his own farm mother as usual is not in the mood to say anything instead of controlling the damage she is trying to help her sisters to select different objects in the family valuable objects she is a lady she is telling her sisters buy this one buy this one take this one mr telver is better than this is the topic for problem solving skill friends today the syllabus will not be a syllabus which doesn't make the youth to think and solve the problems problems are not only in the uh, in other subjects problems are also in literature reading literature following the writer you will see the problem you will analyze the problem you will come to the conclusion at the end and the writer has to bring the solution in his plot construction okay then this boy is surprised to see the condition of his father i have already told you people intellectually he was zero compared to his sister he was nowhere then what job can he get already the family is debt ridden in the loans how can he solve the family problem he goes to his uncle he tells him very interestingly friend life is not in books and pens and inks the color of life is very different if you want to survive you have to work you have to apply your knowledge apply your skill so that you can be successful in your life then he says give me a job he says what can you do he says i can do such a census thing and to his level the job is provided and he gets a job mr tellver who is sick suffering from paralysis is slowly improving and looking at his growing son the son goes to work early in the morning returns late in the evening every day the boy does some or other thing but one day he returns home early the family surprised why has he come so early friends it's a very romantic part of this novel may i ask sir to share the chapter that i had asked let us read together small part of the novel young people listening to this will be very different sir please share it it is a chapter in the novel that i always cherish i always share with my students this is the slide i had given a file here there is a chapter hard won triumph
can it be shared sir yeah no one more file i have given yeah sir slowly you take it up so friends please enjoy the story and you will feel great in your life to read this part of the story i want to take your valuable 5 to 7 minutes but you will have to read it 3 weeks later when dolcot mill was at its prettiest moment in all the year the great chestnuts in blossom and the grass all deep dazed tom telever came home to it earlier than usual in the evening sir take it up sir 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 how can it be yes 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 sure sir ah uh -huh. so the boy came bit earlier in the evening can it not be opened sir hello ankush chapter 6 thoda var sar ko ankush var sar ko jama na mi jaso vasto ta sir yes yes sir sure sir ha ah. uh, far var gelte just a minute uh, thoda thoda sar ko jaycha shabash okay uh, uh, then i said thoda gya var okay uh telever came home to it earlier than usual in the evening and as he passed over the bridge he looked with the old deep rooted affection and respectable red brick house which always seemed cheerful and inviting outside let the rooms be as bare and hearts as sad as they might inside there is a very pleasant light in tom's blue gray eyes as he glances at the house windows the boy has returned home with lot of confidence that fold in that that testament in this bro never disappears but it is not uncommon it seems to imply strength of will that may possibly be without harshness when the eyes and mouth have their gentlest expression his firm step became quicker so gentlemen young people listening to me enjoy the story he was returning home he was walking his firm step became quicker he was walking but his footsteps became quicker and the corners of his mouth rebel against the compassion which is meant for forbid a smile take it up sir over gaya okay the eyes in the parlor were not turned toward the bridge just then a group there was sitting in unexpected silence mr deliver in his armchair who was suffering from paralysis tired with a long ride and ruminating with a one look fixed ride a uh, fixed cheaply on maggie who was being over her seeing while her mother was making the tea they all looked up with surprise when they heard the well known foot it was a footstep known to the family and all of a sudden why what is up now tom said his father you are a bit earlier than usual ajun story kunala kala lek nahi baga संसार उद्वस्त है जस्ट मिनट सर संसार उद्वस्त है वडिल जोपन है मुलगा काम जो आज घर लापस आला वडिल उत्सुकते विचार कस का आज तो लौकर आलास वाय वॉट इज अ टॉम सेड इज फादर यू आर बिट अर्लिर देन युजुअल हो देर वॉज नथिंग मोर फॉर मी टू डू सो आई केम अवे वेल मधर टॉम वेट अप टू इज मधर एंड किस डर a sign of unusual good humor with him ye mulga kadhi hi premani bolat nahuta raga raga ne raycha aaj aicha galala padla 
hardly a word or look has passed between him and Maggie in all three weeks. But his unusual incommunicativeness at home prevented this from being noticeable to their parents. Next, fathers. Um, when they had finished tea, do you know exactly how much money there is in the tin box? Baba na vicharla. Baba, box ma de paise mi daroz gola karto. Paise kiti hai tumal mai te ka? Suk rahe lo ta mulga paise kamo na na tota. Mula cha gayi rajdri ma de halu paise se daba karon bhagat tota. Ani manala only hundred and ninety three pound said Mr. Tulliver. You have bought less or late, but young fellows like you have their own way with their money. Though I didn't do as I liked before, I was a page. He spoke with rather timid discontent. Gabrat Gabrat Manala, hey Baba, you are Tarun. You are not getting any money. 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 Are you quite sure that is some father? Said Tom, Baba. एवढंच पैसे तुम्ही बघितलात का आय विश यू टेक द ट्रबल टू फेच टिन बॉक्स डाऊन आय थिंक यू हॅव पर हॅप्स मेड अ मिस्टेक बाबा तुम्ही म्हणता पैसे नाहीये पण नीट मोजलात काय तुमचे हिशोब चुकलंय म्हणाल शुड आय मेक अ मिस्टेक सेड इज फादर शार्पली आय हॅव काउंटेड इट ऑफ पण इन अप बट आय कॅन फेच इट इफ यू वोंट बिलीव्ह मी तुझ्यावर विश्वास नसेल तर जाऊन मी डबा घेऊन येतो पण पैसा मोजणे मला एकच सुख राहिलंय It was always an incident Mr. Taliwar liked. Azari padle, mil gele, bekar zale, garibi ale. Eka sukh raile jivna madhe. Aise mozne mulani handlela. In his gloomy life to fetch the tin box and count the money. Don't go out of the room, mother, said Tom. Aai bahar salli. Mulga manala, aai bahar zaunu ko. Don mit tham. Her moving when his father was gone upstairs. And isn't Maggie to go? said mrs taliwar because somebody must take away the things come on pray just as she likes said tom indifferently that was cutting word to maggie maggie ji tyaja alikada patat nahuta why she had fallen in love with the enemy's son and he had warned her not to love her him with that philip boy he heard her heart sorry her heart had helped with sudden conviction that tom was going to tell their father that debts could be paid and tom would have let her be absent when the news was told but she carried away the tray and came back immediately the feeling of injury on her own we have could not predominate at the moment tom drew the corner of the table near his father when the tin box was set and opened and the red evening light falling on the falling on them made confuses the one sore gloom of dark eyed father and suppressed the joy in face of fair complexed son the mother and maggie sat at the end of the table the one in blank patient the other in palpitating expectation the duk lagle saglyana mulga kay sangnar re mr 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 thaliwar counted out the money setting it in other on the table and then said glancing sharply at tom there now you see i was right enough me sangle hote ki tu levadas paisa amcha kade he paused looking at the money with bitter despondency there is more nor 300 waiting it will be fine while before i can save that losing that 42 pound with corn was a sore job this word has been too many for me it's it's took it has it's took the sorry it's took four year it has it is took for to lay this boy it is much i am above ground for another four year i must trust to you to pay them he went on with a trembling voice ghabrat ghabrat vadil manala ki tu maza kasa kai karz fedna if you keep the same mind now you are coming or age but you are like enough to bury me first pehla mala dafan kar नंतर तरी कर्ज भर म्हणला ही लुक अप इन टॉम स्पेस विथ हिस डिझायर फॉर सम अशुरन्स डोळ्यातून स्वस्त दिसत होता मुलाला मला शब्द दे माझा मला कर्जातून मुक्त करतो 
मुलगा म्हणाला नो फाथ सेट टॉम स्पीपिंग होते एनर्जेटिक डिसिजन दो देर वॉज ट्रिमर डिसिजनेबल इन इज वॉइस टू यू विल लिव टू सी द डेट्स ऑल पेड यू शॅल फे दॅम विथ युअर ओन हँड बाबा घाबरू नका तुमच्या हाताने मी तुम्हाला कर्ज द्यायला लावेन His tone implied something more than mere hopefulness or resolution. A slight, okay, a slight electric shock seemed to pass through the liver. Vodlana khatri zhala. Just a minute, sir. Thoda khali. Vodlana khatri zhala. Mulani kaiti karamat kele. Mitranno, vodlana karanta basla sarka zhala. Shock marla sarka zhala. a slight electric shock seemed to pass through mr taliver and he kept his eyes fixed on tom mulakad bagat rahila with a look of eager inquiry while maggie unable to restrain herself rushed to her father's side and knelt down by him tom was silent a little while before he went on a good while ago my uncle glen lent me a little money to trade with and that has answered i have 300 and 20 pounds in the bank baba hit 300 hai me business madhe paise ghatlo banket bhi 300 hai manla paise karz bhedun var paise shillak rahata mitrano he ghatna saglya tarun mulancha aishya madhe aai vadlana kai tari karun dakhvaycha anubhav yala paise oh my boy vadil kay mante baga i knew you would make in everything right again when you got a man but this father was silent the flood of emotion hammered in all power of speech bolna tun bhavna ya lagle both tom and maggy were stuck with fear lest the shock of joy might even be fatal bahu bhain ghabarle vadilancha anand la para na rahta shock lagun mele tar kay karay san karan already paralyzed zalo hoto but the blessed relief of tears came अशामध्ये वडिलांच्या डोळ्यातून अश्रू धारा लागल्या रडल्याशिवाय इमोशन बाहेर येत नाहीत द फ्रॉड द फ्रॉड जस्ट ही वडिलांची छाती भरून आली द मसल्स ऑफ द फेस गे मे चेहऱ्यावर एक वेगळा तेज आला अँड द ग्रे हेअर्ड मॅन बस्ट इन टू लाऊड सॉप्स थोर जोराने रडा लागला the fit of weeping gradually subsided and he sat quiet recovering the regularity of his breathing shanta basla swas rokla at least he took up at his wife and said in a gentle tone ekola manala bessi bessi you must come and kiss me now the lad lad means young boy has made you amends you will see big a comfort oh comfort again be like when she had kissed him and he had held her hand a minute his thoughts were back to the money ani vadlala pratyekta asa saglyana hote mitranno vishwas hot nahi baba kay mante baga mulala kay mante baga i wish you brought me the money to look at tom मला पैसे डोळ्याने बघायला बघितलं असतं आणखीन खात्री झालं असतं फिंगरिंग द सोर विन्स ऑन द टेबल आय शुड हॅव फेल्ट शुअर सो इन दिस वे द सन मेंडेड द फॅमिली ओके सर स्लाइड कडे सर परत वापस सर एंड द स्लाइड शो गो बॅक टू द स्लाइड पीपीटी कडे जावा सर पीपीटी हे एंड करा पीपीटी कडे जावा सो फ्रेंड्स द सन फॉर दि सन मेड द फॅमिली हॅपी द फादर वॉज व्हेरी हॅपी नेक्स्ट डे सगळं लोन देऊन टाकलं दुसऱ्या दिवशी फर्स्ट टाइम घोड्यावर बसून गावात एक फेर फटका मारून आला पट्ट्या क्लॉस नदीवर ब्रिज होता On the bridge, he met Wakem. Lawyer Samor Gisla. He thrashed with the horse whip. The lawyer la sa padhola ghalun. The hatata chhodi na chhodi mar mar marla. Yoda emotional zala marta na. 
तिथंच पॅरालिस सेकंड अटॅक आला मरून पडला इन दिस वे द ओनर ऑफ द मोर डॉरल कोट मिल डाईट चिल्ड्रन बिकेम ऑर्फन्स सन डिडंट वॉन्ट हिज सिस्टर लव्ह फिलिप बट मॅगी बिकेम अ टीचर सी गे वेंट ऑन चेंजिंग द जॉब there was no understanding between brother and sister i don't want to concentrate on this part of the novel at last it rained heavily one day it rained and rained there was flood to river floss ho oh, nadila bharpur pur ala bhavala vachavnya sathi boat ghun bahin palat geli and she took the brother परंतु रस्त्यामध्ये वाहून जात असताना अचानकच द बोट कॅप्साइज बॉल्डरला जाऊन लागला आणि द बॉटम ऑफ द बोट वॉज सिटी अँड नेक्स्ट डे द डेड बॉडीज ऑफ द ब्रदर अँड सिस्टर वेअर कलेक्टेड फ्रॉम द रिव्हर बँक आईचं स्वप्न पूर्ण झालं मित्रांनो कमिंग इव्हेंट्स कास्ट देअर शॅडोज अपशकून म्हण पहिल्यापासून म्हणत होती एक दिवशी तुमचं मड नदी म्हणून आणतील काय नदीकडे जाऊ नका नदीत पडून एकदा मरून जाल दोन्ही भाऊ बहीण मरून गेले दे वेर बरीड बाय द ट्विन ग्रेव्ह दोन्ही भाऊ बहिणींना शेजारी शेजारी थडगे करून करून टाकले दिस इज द स्टोरी मला आवडलेलं स्टोरी तुम्हाला आवडलं मी असा अपेक्षा करतो थोडं ह्याच्यावर डिस्कशन करतो जे तुमच्या आयुष्यामध्ये उपयोगी पडू शकत मित्रांनो मी समरी तुम्हाला सांगितलो हे स्टोरी का वाचायला पाहिजे तीन चार गोष्टी ह्याच्यामध्ये मी तुम्हाला सांगतो नंबर वन द क्लेम ऑफ द पास्ट अपॉन द प्रेझेंट आयडेंटिटी हो आम्हा सगळ्यांवर भूतकाळ एवढा भारी होतो ना समटाइम्स वी कॅनॉट लिव्ह विदाऊट पास्ट but sometimes past over powers us ta kadambari mede te dakolele ho tumhi tarun lok ahat ai vadlan sa ikava samajat sa ikava juna valna var jaava ka navin valna var jaava okay just a minute sir okay this is the this this decision can be taken in this novel that is why it teaches it makes aware the reader there is a first point in everybody's life there is a past every one of us has got the past every individual has got the past every college has got the past every state has got the past every country has got the past every culture has got the past the past upon the present t s eliot khup chan sangtat kay man past guides the present and the present alters the past हो भूतकाळ वर्तमान काळाला माझं मार्गदर्शन करत वर्तमान काळ भूतकाळाला बदलून टाकत सो द इम्पॉर्टन्स ऑफ सिंपती या कादंबरी मधून शिकण्यासारखी एकच गोष्ट आहे माणसामध्ये दया असायला पाहिजे वी वॉन्ट सॉफ्ट स्किल्स अँड दिस इज वन सॉफ्ट स्किल दिस इज द थिंग एक्सपेक्टेड इन एव्हरी हार्ट आपल्या प्रत्येकाच्या हृदयामध्ये हे असणे गरजेचं आहे God has already given us sympathy in us, but it should be grown, but it should be enlarged. Yeah, the criminals, they don't have sympathy. Their sympathy doesn't grow. But your sympathy should grow. Sympathy for your family members, sympathy for the needy, sympathy for the soldiers, sympathy for the society, sympathy for the animals, sympathy for the trees, sympathy for the nature. Who? Aplyatla ha sympathy wadas jane garjit sa hai. Aani to wadavane sa hai kameo marga hai. Novel. That is literature. Mitraan vaya kadambari me teji uliya hai. She is the best example of sympathy. Yeah. Yeah. नोकरीला तुम्ही ज्या वेळेस अर्ज करता ते बघितलं जात हो तुम्हाला काय तुम्ही विद्यापीठ पहिल्या नंबर वन कोण नोकरी देत नाही दे वॉन्ट टू सी यू हौ एम्पॅथेटिक यू आर हौ सिम्पॅथेटिक यू आर दुसऱ्यांचा ऐकता का नाही कधी 
दयाळू आहात का नाही थोडे तरी हे सगळं गोष्टी बघितल्या जातात नोकरी देताना दिस इज अ क्रायटेरियन अँड दिस इज टू मच विथ मॅगी युअन ॲट द लास्ट मोमेंट विथ हर ब्रादर सी इज सिम्पॅथेटिक टुवर्ड सिम टू सेव्ह हिम सी डाईज सी इज अ रोल मॉडेल फॉर द युथ यू शुड बिकम सिम्पॅथेटिक then comes next point the importance of sympathy practical knowledge versus bookish knowledge yeah all of us are the part of organized education system we have books libraries teachers infrastructure student support facilities number of best practices all virtual nothing real but there are people who are not part of this organized education formal education they are part of informal education they know better than what we know they are more successful what educated people are because they have learned the lessons of life real education from the nature here there is a conflict between maggie and tom i have already told tom was interested in rabbits sword horses animals mischievous things on the other hand maggie was more intelligent confident educated always reading spiritual but who succeeded tom succeeded at the end it is a role model for you people who are doing your ba and ma in english not only learn virtual bookish knowledge you should learn practical things in the life too you should be part of that practical life then and then only will you will you succeed i had selected this novel to bring to your notice this one you might have heard in many lectures theoretical knowledge is of no use it is only theory you learn but here it is practically shown friends how a person who was not good in academics become successful in his practical life that is why this novel tells the reader be practical there is a counter conflict between bookish knowledge and practical knowledge at least you should find the golden mean सुवर्ण मध्य तरी साधा दुर्दैवाने काय व्हायला लागलंय माहितीये काय एक तरी एज्युकेशन एक तरी ओव्हर व्हर्च्युअल एज्युकेशन सेकंडली नुसता परीक्षेसाठी अभ्यास थर्डली नुसता मार्क्ससाठी अभ्यास फिफ्थली ओनली थेरी परीक्षेच्या झाल्या दिवशी विसरून जातो आम्ही म्हणून नोकरी लागत नाही मित्रांनो प्रॅक्टिकली आम्हाला काहीच माहीत नाही आमच्या घरात असलेले व्यवसाय आम्ही शिकायला तयार नाही we are not even ready to learn the generic skills how can we survive ama tar amcha acha tarunan madhe pudha jaav ki dhamak kami hun geli hai ani ya kadambari vachlyanantar tumcha madhe ek prakar chi dhamak kahi tari karun dakhavne chi dhamak ya madhe disayla paise mi purcha mudya kade jato practical knowledge versus bookish knowledge the effect of society upon the individual yeah every one of you is under the impact of your parents your relatives your society yeah maggie is a victim of the criticizing society at the end of the novel you can see there the, the problems in the in the life of every person are very different some are financial problems some are physical problems some are health problems but above all very dangerous are relational problems how you are late to behave with you actually mrs tully versus sisters could have mended the family problem instead of helping the family they go on criticizing the family instead of supporting they are ready to buy the valuable things in the family 
how can we expect them? that is why young people you should remember you are in your adolescence around 20 21 23 24 society is there and you have to go against the wind they will bring many conditions as per existentialism is concerned they won't allow you to live as you want to live but only a few move against the wind and this lead a successful life how many of we are i am not i am not instigating you people to go against the society but you should be rational enough to take the proper decision so friends reading mill on the floss if we apply the signifier and the signified signifier and the signified everything in the novel has got its own meaning the mill commercial purpose the river the nature it stands for isn't it every this this, uh, this boy stands for rationality this boy stands for practical living life mr tulliver stands for emotional people mr wakem stands a symbol of wicked people this is why the every story has got its signifier and the signified you should try to bring out different meanings you should not depend on one meaning as many times you read so many meanings will be there you should deconstruct the meaning of the story then comes the real meaning of the story the me- there are two things upper level surface level story is one thing inner level is another thing so sir next slide please before that one before that one yeah friends those who are studying novel last uh, point of my presentation different genre of literature it is said poetry germinates goes deeper into the subject but the novel completes the circle i heard somewhere novel is like a banyan tree you might have seen the banyan tree vada chazad the tree is there it grows up it roots come to the ground again the circular it moves the novel is like this it begins sorry it ends where it begins in this novel two dialogues are very important first is mrs tulliver telling wondering sorry wandering up and down by the water like a wild thing she will tumble in some day mrs tulliver says this girl is going to the river again and again one day will die she she will die in the river and the last line of the novel is in death they were not divided in this way the story completes i have tried to give the summary i have tried to its critical meaning to you people i have tried to learn many things from literature i have tried to make you people have interest in literature going beyond ready made guides bazaar notes and the websites if you are not reading the original text you are not reading literature you are gifted with a good college go on reading the things please spend some money on the books buy these books keep in your library these are the classics even they are available on the net i wish i have created some interest in you people to read this novel in particular to read the literature in general if i am successful in doing it i am grateful to you people once again it was a rare opportunity for me to be amongst you people and especially the credit goes to technology had had there been no technology had there been no zoom had all of you not been with the zoom app how 
it was not so easy for me to come to you people so hence for the technology will be there education will be 100 percentage combination of offline and online now technology will not return i will tell a simple thing and complete my discourse i read somewhere during the second world war the soldiers in america participated in the war helplessly they gave all the responsibilities and decisions with their wives सगळं सत्ता बायकांकडे लेडीज कडे देऊन गेले युद्धावर जाताना चार वर्षाने युद्ध झाल्यावर वापस आले लेडीज वापस ते सत्ता कधीच दिले नाही त्या समाजामध्ये स्त्रियांचा वर्चस्व कमी होऊ शकला नाही कोविडने एकदम जवळ आलेल्या टेक्नॉलॉजीला एकदा आणून सोडलेलं आहे सत्ता त्याच्या हातात केलंय आता ते आम्हाला सोडणार म्हणून मी टेक्नॉलॉजीचं बी उपकार मानतो पहिले की आय कुड इझिली विदाऊट एनी जॉग्रफिल कन्स्टेंट कुड कम टू यू पीपल अँड सी यू पीपल अँड फुलफिल द रिक्वेस्ट बाय माय सिस्टरली फिगर हु इज पार्ट ऑफ माय बी ओ एस वी आर लाईक ब्रादर अँड सिस्टर अँड your 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 faculty members are very very much acquainted to me in the next journey we will be working together it was an opportunity for me as given in ganeshwari it is written in ganeshwari madhe lele man vadil jevat astat vadilancha tata madhe mulga jevat astat vadil tela bharvat astat थोड्या वेळानंतर मुलगा काय करतो त्यांनी बी एक घास घेतो आणि वडिलांना ते घास खायला जात माझ परिस्थिती आज असं झालं वी लर्न मेनी थिंग्स फ्रॉम शाहू कॉलेज अँड टुडे आय गॉट एन अपॉर्च्युनिटी टू फीड द फादर एक घास वडिलांना बी घालायला मिळाला असं या भावनेनं विथ दिस इमोशनल फिलिंग्स आय टेक लिव्ह ऑफ यू Thank you very much. भंडारे सर अनम्यूट युअर सेल्फ हॅलो सर भंडारे सर प्लीज अनम्यूट युअर सर भंडारे सर अनम्यूट युअर सर हॅलो सर हा स्वागत now go for uh, the uh, concluding session hello swagat swagat
Hello. 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 Krishna sir, I'm going to unmute Kartha Rita, Ankusha PC room. Yes. Krishna sir, thank you sir. Hello, thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, we are really inspired to read novels. You have given the importance of uh, sympathy to be realistic and uh, uh, to be uh, and to have a work ethic and to praise our work ethic. You showed this, sir, and we are really lucky and thankful to have a guest like you. Thank you for. Uh, after that, I would like to call. Miss Anuja Tirke uh, for giving out of thanks. Miss Anuja Tirke, please. Anuja, unmute to yourself. Anuja, unmute to yourself. Unmute. Anuja, you can Swagat, you go for vote of thanks. Yes, sir. Hello. Hello. Ha, Swagat, can you listen me? Swagat, can you listen me? Uh, uh, hello. Uh, hello. Uh, I would like to thanks uh, each and everyone for uh, giving uh, giving their valuable time. I would like to thanks Mr. Uh, Dhanapa Yamitri sir, our chief guest, for uh, removing time for from their busiest schedule. I would like to thanks Mr. Sachin Gawan, uh, Mr. Gawani sir, principal of our college, uh, to organize this uh, program. Nextly, I would like to thanks uh, Mr. Sachin Bhandari sir for organizing this program and encouraging us to take participation in it. And I would like to thanks Ms. Anuja, Anuja Madam uh, to, uh, to organizing this program, uh, head of our department. And I would like to thanks one and all. And thank you for participating. And with the uh, consent of uh, President, I hereby declare that this program is over. Thank you. Thank you. Maitri sir, thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay, sir. Bye. Thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Ankush, meeting end kara. Ankush. Okay, okay, sir. Kare, sir, please end the meeting. Yeah, yes, sir. You